Okay guys, um, so I'm going to be restarting the tutorials. The quality just wasn't how I wanted it to be, so we're going to restart and um, get the show on the road. I'm going to be doing things with a, a bit of structure this time and generally just up the uh, quality of these tutorials a little bit. Uh, before I start though, I want to just mention I'm using Unreal Engine 4.7.6 and I would really recommend using the same version that I use just because if you're using a different version some of the code might not run properly so um, yeah I would highly recommend using that but without further ado let's launch the Unreal Engine so in this uh, series I plan to just go over how to effectively use C++ with the Unreal Engine and we're just gonna make a bunch of different stuff um, you know go over some projects I think after a little bit maybe say 20 or so tutorials I'll probably do some sort of horror game I think that would be kind of cool so we'll probably do that at some point anyhow um, we're gonna uh, hit C++ and um, I'm just gonna use a first person project here and we'll go Unreal Tutorial create project and this will generally take a while to uh, create but uh, yeah as I said we'll probably do say 20 just practical tutorials going over um, a bunch of different concepts in making a game and then eventually we'll be at the point where we can do something like make a, a first person shooter or a horror game or something I'm really uh, into the idea of a horror game so I think we'll make a first person horror game with a flashlight and lots of different things at some point but uh, that probably won't be until maybe 20 to 30 tutorials in. Uh, I really want to get the basics down before we make any sort of game anyway. Uh, but anyways, here we are in the Unreal uh, Editor. So, uh, if I hit play, we can actually play a game. We're in the, we're in the game now. But when it comes to adding C++, all you need to do is go File, add code to project. So the first thing you're going to see is choose parent class and in the Unreal Engine there are a bunch of parent classes. So uh, for example character. This player here is uh, a, a character class. Um, and we have the actor class, player, camera manager, there are heaps if I go show all classes there are a crazy amount of classes here. Anyhow, um, we're going to start with one of the most important and easy to understand classes, the actor class. And uh, yeah, don't get me wrong, the actor class is extremely important. You'll be using this probably more than any other uh, class. So to add this, we're just going to go next and it's going to put it exactly where it needs to be and I'm gonna call this uh, in fact yeah let's just call it my actor why not and then we just hit create class now what happens when we click create class is it'll do what is called a hot reload and it'll compile and hot reload for us now in older versions you had to like restart the editor and things like that but now it's quite convenient so once you've added that class, if we go into Visual Studio, you can see it's actually appeared here. We have myActor.h and myActor.cpp. In myActor.h, the .h file, or header file, is where we're going to be declaring a bunch of components, properties, methods, things like that, right? The cpp file is where we actually do stuff with those components, right? So I want you to imagine that we have uh, a class called gun, right? Well, we would declare the gun and, and all the properties that the gun has in the .h file. And then we would have all the methods like shoot the gun and reload the gun in the .cpp. So the .cpp is where we actually write most of our code. And the .h is just for defining uh, components and things like that. Since we're making a really basic actor, uh, what I'm going to do is we'll just add a couple of components. So the first component I'm going to add is a U-shaped component 
called root. And this is going to be the root component. So for every class, it has a root component that you can set. And the name's obviously pretty descriptive, you know. A root component is just the root of all the components in the class. It is sort of the main component, if you will. So I'm going to use the U property edit anywhere macro here. And now we have declared U shape component root as a edit it anywhere U property. We're also going to make another U property. And this one is going to be a static mesh component. And we'll just call this my mesh. Okay, so we've made my mesh and we've made our shape component, but now we need to initialize these components. So we're going to come into the constructor, and the constructor is where we do all of our initialization stuff. So let's initialize root. To initialize components, we use this method create uh, default subobject. And then that takes a type. In this case, it's going to be, we'll make it a U box component. So we made a shape component, and this shape is going to be a box. Then we need some text to describe what is happening. My descriptive text is just going to be root. And now we need to tell um, the engine that root is the root component. So root component equals root. So we've set our root component equal to this shape we made called root. Now we're going to initialize our static mesh, so my mesh equals create default subobject use static mesh component. And then we need some text in here, and I'm just going to put my mesh. The text is merely just to describe the uh, component or sub-object that we're making, right? Now that we've made our mesh, our static mesh, we need to attach it to the root component. So to do that, we're going to use this function here, attach to. And we're going to attach this to the root component. So the static mesh is the visible thing. It's the thing that you actually see. So, in the game, you might have a character that is a box, but when you look at the character, it's actually a person. So, in that case, the static mesh is a person. So, a static mesh is basically just a model for uh, an actor. Anyways, um, I might just set the size of the box as well. Uh, actually, no, don't worry. Um, anyways, with... with basically initialized everything let's go back into the editor and hit compile and this is going to compile all the code that we just wrote now that the compile is complete let's drag our actor into the game as you can see the box is already there however we, we haven't initialized our static mesh yet we did in code but we need to actually tell the editor what static mesh we want to use. So in here you can see my mesh. If I click this we can now choose the static mesh in here. So um, I'm just going to make it a, a table. So this is the actor that we just made. We just made a table and if I hit play here is our actor. We just made him and he is now in the level. It is just simply a table. There's nothing really that amazing about it but it's a uh, it's a good start it's an example and um, basically this is just showing you that an actor we can attach different components to in this case we attached a box component which you can't actually see that's invisible and a static mesh component which is a table uh, I wanted to start out simple so if that doesn't seem that amazing uh, don't worry it will get more complex but I 
feel like it's a good place to start anyway. So, anyways, I'll see you in tutorial number two where we'll start covering, uh, I'm going to say player input maybe. Uh, I might just do some more stuff on the actor class, but anyways, I'll see you in the next tutorial.